Russian Foreign Ministry, NATO preparing for conflict in Eastern Europe, Black Sea. NATO activity in Eastern Europe and the Black Sea is associated with preparations for a potential conflict with Russia, according to the Russian Foreign Ministry. The expansion of the Romanian airbase is yet another proof that the North Atlantic bloc continues the unbridled militarization of Eastern Europe and the Black Sea region, the ministry added. The foreign ministry noted that strengthening coalition potentials is also taking place in Poland and the Baltic countries. The alliance's actions are exacerbating military tensions along the perimeter of Russia's borders, the ministry said. Romanian authorities have previously announced their readiness to invest 2.5 billion euros or 2.7 billion euros. US dollars in the modernization of the Mihail Kogalnichenu airbase in Constanta County. The base is set to expand into a military town capable of accommodating the families of 10,000 military personnel with plans to create urban infrastructure, said the ministry. Construction has begun in the southern part of the future military town where access roads and a robust power grid are currently being built. The modernization of the airbase could make it the largest North Atlantic Treaty Organization base in Europe by 2040. The US military has been using this base since 1999, it said. The expansion of the Romanian airbase is yet another proof that the North Atlantic bloc continues its unrestrained militarization of Eastern Europe and the Black Sea region, said the Russian Foreign Ministry. The ministry added that the forced enhancement of coalition capabilities is also taking place in Poland and the Baltics. Such activity by NATO members is provocative, exacerbates military tension along our borders and creates additional security threats to Russia. All this is aimed at preparing the bloc's allies for a potential collision with our country, the ministry said. We will monitor the developments in Romania, assess the emerging risks and take them into account during military planning, the ministry added. Ukraine might face hellish April. Military observer on Russia's missile attacks capabilities. Large-scale missile attacks on Ukrainian territory will continue in the coming months, Denis Popovich, Ukrainian military observer, suggested on Radio NV. By now, they have a stockpile of missiles, Popovich said. They made them accumulated when there was no missile strikes for 44 days. Now we are facing the same situation as last year when there was a big break before May and then there was a hellish May. I believe that we will have a hellish April because they stockpiled a lot of missiles. He added that he would be happy to be wrong but notes that once is happenstance, twice is coincidence and the third time it becomes a system. On March the 24th, Russia conducted massive missile strikes on Ukraine. Russians attacked Ukrainian cities with 29 cruise missiles and 29 attack UAVs. Air Defense Forces destroyed 43 targets. Also, one of the Russian cruise missiles that attacked Ukraine flew into Poland for 39 seconds. 19 missiles and 7 attack drones striked Lviv Oblast, where they hit infrastructure facilities. In the morning, Russia attacked this facility once again with hypersonic missiles. It is noted that the Russian army fired Kinzhal missiles at a critical infrastructure facility in Lviv Oblast. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that last week Russia used nearly 190 missiles, 140 Shahed drones and 700 guided bomb units against Ukraine. Zelensky stressed that during more than two years of the full-scale war, there has not been a single week in which Russia has refrained from terror. And we are doing our best to make sure that the occupation contingent feels our quite fair response to this terror in the same way every week, every day. I am grateful to all of our heroes who destroy enemy logistics in the occupied territories, those who clear Crimea and the Black Sea of the occupier's presence, this is a difficult task, but our warriors are completing it step by step. Everyone sees that, the president said.